Warm greetings. I am Shweta Balakrishnan of Class 10C, KV Payanur. I am here with a brief description about the Haripura posters. Throughout this video, you will be able to know some more about the artist of the posters and some interesting facts and features of the Haripura posters. Without further ado, let's get started. There was a time not long ago when both politics and art went hand in glove. Our master modernist Nandalal Bose is one such noted artist who voluntarily worked with none other than Mahatma Gandhi and Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore and contributed immensely towards the freedom movement with his artworks. India is showcasing Nandalal Bose Haripura paintings, the posters he created for the Haripura Congress held in February 1938 at the Venice Biennale one of the most prestigious art shows in the world. The Haripura posters were created when Gandhi commissioned Nandalal Bose to decorate the panel for the session of the International Congress at Haripura. The posters depict rural life and landscapes painted on handmade paper with pigments made from earth and stones and mounted on straw boards. The posters were planned to awaken the spirit of Swadeshi and political consciousness at large. Nandalal Bose was brought in because his works were symbolic of the nationalist spirit. Considered one of the pioneers of modern Indian art and the key figure of the contextual modernism, Nandalal Bose was a student of Rabindranath Tagore and later became the principal of Shanti Niketan's Kala Bhavan, the art wing of Vishwa Bharati University established by Rabindranath Tagore. He was known for his indigenous style at a time when the norm was to follow the European masters. He was inspired by the Ajanta paintings and he tried to bring back the style in murals not to speak of the depiction of Indian rural life. All of his paintings are part of national treasures and cannot be sold outside the country. He was given the work of illustrating the constitution of India. Nandalal Bose was born on 3rd December 1882 in a middle class Bengali family at Haveli Kharagpur in Munger district of Bihar state. He had become part of an international circle of artists and writers seeking to revive classical Indian culture. To mark the 1930 occasion of Mahatma Gandhi's arrest for prote protesting the British tax on salt, Bose created a black and white Linocket painting of Gandhi walking with a staff. It became an iconic image for the non-violence movement. He was also famously asked by Jawaharlal Nehru to sketch the emblems for the Government of India's awards, including the Bharat Ratna and the Padma Shri. Along with his disciple Ram Manohar, Nandalal Bose took up the historic task of beautifying the original manuscript of the Constitution of India. Nandalal Bose passed away on 16 April 1966 in Calcutta. Today, the National Gallery of Modern Art in Delhi holds 7,000 of his works in its collection, including a 1930 black and white linocut cut of the Dandi March depicting Mahatma Gandhi and a set of seven posters he later made at the request of Mahatma Gandhi for the 1938 Haripura session of the Indian National Congress. Nandalal Bose, who left a major imprint on Indian art, was the first recipient of a scholarship offered by the Indian Society of Oriental Art founded in 1907. In 1954, Nandalal Bose was awarded the Padma Bhushan. In these sketches, the artist renders in subtle yet meticulous line drawings, serene landscapes, bullock carts, and the local women of the village we see in their daily chores. 
these bold paintings of common people like the tailor, the drummer, the gardener and the woman cooking and so on have achieved an outstanding stature in the history of modern Indian art. Haripura posters celebrate the Indian rural life and culture sharing a vibrant earthy color palette and bold energetic lines with a vividly modernist graphic quality. Mahatma Gandhi had wanted something that would be accessible to the common people visiting the session. Elements of the language of the folk arts were skillfully used in defining form. One of the finest among them is the bullfighter. The vigor and tenacity of the man and the bull are shown through strong gestural lines and swaths of bright, bold colors. The National Gallery of Modern Art had mounted this exhibition of Haripura panels for a new generation of art lovers and for a generation who would pleasurably recollect these images to observe and appreciate this brilliant set of paintings that had been a signpost in the trajectory of modern Indian art. Nandalal visited Vithal Nagar, a small settlement near Haripura in Gujarat and spent many weeks observing local life and village culture sketching fervently. He devised an imagery that would communicate itself to the ordinary village folk. In his works, the search for an utopia is informed and directed by a deep consciousness of his immediate environment and surroundings. It was through drawing that he expressed himself and created a personal idiom. His style is easily recognized by its linear fluency, plasticity and strength. That brings us to the conclusion of the video. I hope in this video I had fetched you some information about the artist of the posters and some interesting facts and features about the posters. Thank you.